to On the Road with Pastor Anthony. And well, we're doing this little clip here because for some reason our start to the week was uh, non existent. So, don't have a clue what that was all about. But, anyhow, uh, already did our pre trip. And, uh, I, you know, we're a long ways away. But the next clip you'll see is us at our pickup, first pickup point on Sunday evening. We picked up in, it starts with an A. I'll find, I don't even know, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but it's in Pennsylvania. And so we picked up there, and it was a debacle, which you'll see in a second. So, but anyway, as you've seen from the thumbnail, uh, we're saying goodbye to PNS Transportation. This is our last week uh, here. And so let's go along this week and discuss it and talk about some things. So we will see you in just a few minutes. Or well, for me, you know, for you, just a second. So, you know, do the thing, watch it, you know, like it, something, yeah. All right, well, we're here. And this is supposed to be a preloaded trailer straps are loose uh, I'm supposed to leave two tarps I'm supposed to leave about uh, 30 bungees there ain't but one two three four five I see on there, there ain't, there's no edge protectors laying up underneath there Yeah, I tell you. Traps aren't even put on correctly. Yeah, we're gonna be here a bit. Let's get that trailer dropped and get up underneath this thing so we can get everything switched around and get ready to get out of here. Glad it's, <laughs> it's almost over. We'll see you soon. Hey guys, as you can tell, we got some shingles up on there now. Uh, we delivered other load this morning and went and got this one. Probably one of the easiest preloads I've done. I had to take all the strap loose to put uh, the edge protectors up underneath there because they didn't have any of them on there. But, uh, so, but. This one, we still got about four and a half hours uh, to go. I was going to try to get it closer, but coming down through DC and down 95, all that traffic was horrible. It took me three and a half hours to go 117 miles. So uh, yeah, we're done for the day. We'll get up early in the morning and go. Uh, we're going to Winston-Salem with that one. Uh, we'll figure out where we're going to go from there. There was uh, another driver up there I had one going to Wilmington, which would have been fantastic because that's where my daughter is. You know, she's got to see baby Wesley, which uh, he, he's on some walking. Uh, we got him a little toy and uh, it looked kind of like an A-frame, but it, he can hold on to it. And, uh, and uh, make sure I wasn't going to get run over. But uh, walk around and he was getting it all over the house. So it's uh, it was pretty good. Or get my hand out there, but uh, anyway, so wanted to touch base back in with y'all the what's going on. So, but I've already talked to my son, and we'll be dropping the truck Friday in Emporia, Virginia, where I picked it up from. So, uh, have to wait and see how that goes. Uh, like to see if you can bring the boys we can make a pit stop at camp you know out of lewisburg so the new chapter starting said it's just been crazy I ain't had time to really sit down and talk but uh we'll do that maybe when i get back to the truck now we're gonna go in here and take a shower so anyway we'll see you in just a little bit hey guys well we're over in poria here we do our third load this is a load of plywood she's heavy but another dropping hook so we got forward and get our wood but this will probably be the last one we're taking it over washington courthouse and delivering it to lowe's and then 
uh, probably heading up to Columbiana, Ohio, or you know, up and just going home from there. So it's been a long week. I ain't kidding you. So this old boy is tired. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway i will talk to you in a little bit we don't have much time left to drive so we gotta hurry up and get that wood transferred and get out of here so we'll see you in a bit <laughs> hey pastor anthony well we've made it here to truck stop here in colonial something virginia we're almost to richmond uh here on 95 i always think of that travis tread you know rolling up to richmond it's a long way to Richmond, up on 95 or what, you know, something like that. I always think about that song. Now you're probably thinking about it. Looks like we're getting ready to get some rain. Uh, it's trying to. Uh, but anyhow, we got parked. We ended up having to pay for a parking spot because this place was plum full. Uh, we had about an hour and a half. And, you know, once you head 64 West past Richmond, there is nothing to get on, you know, well over on 81 South heading down you know we're 84 81 64 run together didn't have enough time to get there so we jumped in here uh there was only a couple spots and they were filling up fast uh and so i had to jump in this one you know hit the pay button and so you know here we are uh got dinner talked to the wife and got a shower and stuff and yeah you know, so i wanted to jump in here and chit chat with you all just a little bit as you know you know i'm leaving pns transportation I'm coming off the road uh, as far as over the road. Uh, the job that I got is uh, MRC Global, which is Majunkin Redman Corporation, and they do you know different types of you know valves and piping and gas line and you know and stuff like that. And uh, and so I'm still going to be doing local deliveries uh, for them while driving. So you know we'll be able to do some stuff there. Uh, but you know as far as the channel, you know what it's based on is you know really just you know getting jesus out there we're sharing jesus in life one mile at a time that's not changing uh at all you know but you know some of the dynamics of the channel is going to change and how we do things and what we do and that kind of stuff and i'd love to hear from you what you'd like to see um there is going to be some more in-depth bible studies uh but this current job is going to give me more time uh, so I'll be getting off, you know, working eight hours and coming home. And I won't know what to do with the, the other six hours that I'm used to putting in in a day. Uh, so, but anyway, uh, we're going to definitely get into some of that. But, you know, I've been running some things around in my mind. Uh, and one of the things that I'd like to bring to you all, um, you know, I'm asking you know, for your help. But, you know, I need you to commit in the, you know, so put it in the comments if you'd like to be a part of this. But when I first started in RV transport two years ago, I just went through a weight loss uh, program to physicians weight loss. I was originally 259 pounds and I lost, uh, oh my gosh, 60, 70 pounds, something. I was like, once I seen 183, uh, which is where I want to be. And I felt great. I had energy, you know, um, was coming off medicines and stuff. My health was, I mean, it was, I was training for a 6K and then, I, you know, COVID hit and just kind of messed everything up. And, um, you know, just, and then I ended up on the road and got lazy and spent me you know, so much time behind the wheel and started eating out and, you know, and just forming, re jumped back in those bad habits. Um, I told someone that food is like a drug addiction, you know, it's like, you know, whenever you finally get yourself clean from it, because when I went off, I, when I first started the weight loss program, I cut carbs and I cut uh, caffeine, and so I'm literally sweating, detoxing uh, this stuff out of my system, and it was pretty rough, and, but anyway, I want to get this weight back off. Um, I know what to do, I just got to do it. And so I'm hoping with this new job that is coming up, uh, we'll give him more time to start hitting the trails and, you know, doing some hiking and some more camping and, uh, you know, some stuff like that. And you're going to see some bush camping stuff with my grandsons. We, they have gotten into this and starting, they've been watching a lot of the uh, YouTube channels and I have too. Uh, one of the guys I really like is uh, Camping with Steve. 
Now, he does some he does some crazy camping. I don't see him be doing that kind of stuff. You know, he does some stealth camping, like you know, behind a wall in the middle of a city or a roundabout, or you know, he's nuts. But anyway, he's entertaining. But it, so I want to do some of that stuff. I want to do some hiking. But I'd like for you all to you know help hold me accountable. You know, to start doing some things so I can report back to you all. You know, weekly weigh-ins or whatever. But uh, we're definitely going to get into some more just some good old-fashioned Bible studies. Maybe it's time now we do the Romans 8. We've been talking about it for a while, but, you know, I've, I've been putting it off because I didn't want to have to do it. Uh, when we start into something like that, I want to definitely be able to put all the time and effort into studies and to make sure I'm bringing you all, you know, the Scripture because uh, when I went through some of this uh, with, my, uh, with my youth group, I mean, we were like week 7 and not even through the first chapter yet you know we you know we were just getting through chapter one so you know we went through it verse by verse just broke everything down so i really want i'd like to teach you all that um you know, and it's not just romans we can do any book you know we can start doing that i've you know i've done galatians before you know and stuff i've worked through several of them so anyway i'm kind of rambling on but uh what i would like to do is that but I would really like to hear from you all uh, if you would be a part of helping hold me accountable to lose weight, uh, to get out there and start becoming active. And, you know, what would you think about doing, some, you, know, as, you know, it may not be road travel, we'll do some hiking. You know, West Virginia is a beautiful state. Uh, we can do some things like that. Uh, get my wife up off the couch and get Miss Ray Lynn and go do some hiking. Uh, it, because we all need to get back into shape. Ray Lynn's even turned into a couch potato. So we've got to get us all moving and stuff. And uh, But if you'd like to see some of our steak, uh, we'd like to do that. And, you know, that would be one way we could share some uh, some miles, you know, Jesus, one mile at a time, uh, you know, that type of stuff. So uh, maybe get into doing some more lives. You know, but, you know, I've got to hear from you. Um, let's put some stuff in the comments. You know, we got 304 subscribers, but not everybody's watching all the time. And so, you know, I'm hoping that uh, we're reaching a good dynamics. You know, we need you to, to like and subscribe and share the channel. And, you know, let's grow. Let's do this thing together. Um, you know, as I start preaching more again, um, I, I want to, I need to get, I've talked about it. I need to ask these churches if I can set up my phone and record it and you know so you're seeing me do the service live um and so we're going to do that i might get a hold of him perry this week because uh, i'm preaching again uh easter morning and and then again uh the 29th uh, i know for sure so um i'd like to bring y'all along for that that'd be kind of different you know on the channel to see me doing it from the pulpit instead of from you know my chair or my table in the camper or in the house so but uh but that's what that's where we are so but i want to hear from you all what would you like to see maybe some things we haven't done differently you know because you've been looking at this loads and uh you know doing this art this uh over the road with the flatbed you know i have not had the time to uh to do the things like we did when we were rving uh because of the way this truck set up we have a camera um uh, there uh, you probably can't see it uh, let's see if we can turn this on y'all. Yep, still can't see it. But anyway, the, right there, there's a camera, and it's facing on the inside, um, the face on the outside. So, and the company policy is, you know, of course, no hands, you know, on the phones, holding it, or whatever. You know, and then Viper, we had it up on the dash where you could see me, or see out the window. And then here, it's, you know, it's it's like way down there and so um you can see me as well and i can't video anything out the windshield uh so and so it's made it a lot harder and, and the stress the this job has put on me you know physically mentally because the tractor you know there's i'm the company's great. I mean, they they really worked with me by getting loads and uh, running me the areas I want to run and trying to work with me that way. Um, I'm not pleased with the way they have their truck set. They're governed at 65, 
and it's an automatic and the shifter the manual you can't manually shift it you can, you can change the gears but it automatically changes it right back and wants to do what it wants to do and it just doesn't have the power to pull you know the kind of loads that we've been pulling in my opinion and, uh, and so that's been a lot of my issue and so which eats in and it takes me a lot longer to scrap and tarp loads than it does the average guy because you know I'm not spring chicken anymore and I am out of shape and um, and so just a lot of those things played into and I feel like it's time that you know God's wanting me to you know, start working me back into church my wife and I have been visiting another church um, from the one I used to be a youth pastor at it's this is another one and and it's looking more and more like we might uh, join it and I've already been talking with the pastor and stuff and they've already got ministry opportunities so you know there's some things there to be doing and sharing with you all so there's a whole lot of things happening a whole lot of stuff going on God's working you know I'm just and um, and he's you know just bringing you know, bring them along and so I'm just trying to you know take it one step at a time and move forward and do this you know what he wants me to do and so and i know this is a lot of rambling this is a lot of information uh coming at you and so yeah i don't know how yet we're going to end this video um you know to, yeah, i'm already on my third load and it's only tuesday and so yeah this i am tired and so yesterday was a pretty easy it was a preload those shingles you seen it was just a matter of loosening the straps put edge protectors under and tighten it back down and we rolled um, so it was not too bad. This one here wasn't too bad. It was already it was a preload. I did have to complete you know finish you know bungee cording the tarp and putting four more straps on the exit and so and then swapping some wood and, and you know that kind of stuff. So it wasn't real real, real bad. Um, so we're going to get this one delivered maybe tomorrow. I don't know. It depends on what time we get up in the morning and get going because we're still. Uh, seven hours out is what the GPS says that as slow as this truck is and some of the mountains I got to pull probably looking more lines of you know eight nine hours so we might end up delivering it on Thursday morning so will we get the fourth load after that I don't know maybe not we might just take this thing on up in Ohio and have my son come and get me on uh, Thursday afternoon and just shut her down so We'll see how that goes uh, but anyway that's a huge update a lot of things thrown at you I uh, want a lot of things back from you that's blow up the comments and get this and talk and get some things going and uh, and you know I've been talking about it and I think you know Saturday let's do a live and maybe we'll just touch base then and see how that goes you know because this will be up on Friday and give you all enough time to watch it and then Saturday evening we'll try to do a live together and uh, just chit chat and hang out. So anyway, that's where we are right now. Y'all have a great evening. I'm going to get ready to go to bed. It's after eight, and I know it's early, but we're going to try to get up at four a.m. So you know, gotta go. So anyway, we will see you tomorrow at some point. You know, delivery time, something. Anyway, you know, we're going to Lowe's and Washington Courthouse, which is just. Uh, it's like in between Chillicothe, Ohio, and Columbus. So it's not too bad uh, as far as from the house. So, but anyway, we'll see how that goes. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back. Yeah, here's a load. We're, we're in Chillicothe, Ohio. We didn't make it to our delivery today. And uh, our dispatcher, well, <laughs> to say we'll be glad when this journey is over supposed to my appointment was 10 30 this morning and i knew i wasn't gonna make it I told him yesterday i wasn't gonna make it so i emailed him hang on so i emailed him and told him we may want to change it well he didn't and so uh, i emailed him again this morning and he finally responded uh this afternoon after you know I already left nitro where I stopped and got fuel and so I told him I had 30 minutes you know left on my drive 
or I had 30 minutes before I had to take my eight hour, my eight hour break, or you know, 30 minute break before my uh, first eight hours was up. And uh, well, he asked me, he said, well, he said, we just need to uh, let him know what time you'll be there. He said, the, he said, when can you be there tomorrow? And I said, 7 a.m. And so got everything set up. My son was going to leave tomorrow morning to get up there to pick me up. And then he messaged me back. The only thing they had was 1 p.m. tomorrow. I, I'm 30 minutes from delivery. I'm an hour and a half from my house. So I could have stayed home and cleaned out most of the stuff today and made it a lot easier. Uh, but now it's going to be Friday sometime. I'm going to be stuck in Ohio so I can get home. So we'll be finishing our video up there somehow or another. But uh, that's how we're going to end it. Frustrated. <laughs> so, but anyhow, we're going to start getting everything together here and cleaned up and uh, get the floor swept and all that kind of stuff and get everything situated here so make it easier so when I do get out of here I can go so uh, that's where we are so we will see you all in just a little oh yeah dinner tonight Moe's I don't know if y'all have ever ate there Moe's Southwestern Grill awesome and I've ate at this one a couple times so the we're also right across the street from where we bought viper so that's pretty cool too so, but pretty good area so but anyway we'll talk to you in a bit hey y'all i uh just wanted to man this is dirt. uh we're waiting here we got to our place where we're delivering and uh they told me i could get them early so you know we're here appointment's not till 1 30 10 30 now or 10 26 so um but we're unstrapped untarped all that good stuff you know everything all, all my stuff's done all i do is have them take stuff off and i can leave so fellas getting hungry but i wanted to bring y'all in on something and we'll, uh something real simple these scrambled egg kit thing just cracking egg and I got two different ones. This one's uh, sharp cheddar cheese, pork, sausage, and bacon. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Uh, this one here is potato, sharp cheddar cheese, and bacon, which sounds good too. It's got bacon in it, you know. So you can't go wrong there. But anyhow, I just wanted to show you all. If you're out here on the road, you know, you're doing the RV transport, you know, tractor trailer, whatever. You know, y'all seen the cooler. You know, it's plugged into 12 volt. It does real well. Keep the stuff. But, uh, well, hit me. Man. Nah, uh, but anyway. Well. Here's how the stuff comes individually packed like this. And so once you take everything out, of course your bowl now it's empty. You just got egg, you know. Woo. Crack it up. So now you got your egg in there, and then you do your thing, you know, like you know you do when you're doing scrambled eggs. You just mix it up. Scramble it, scramble it, scramble it. I think it says to dump the stuff in there and then scramble it. Crack an egg in the cup. Yeah, then, then you take all the, the stuff. I scramble it first, just, you know, help it get mixed up, is what I'm trying to say. Then you just take all your stuff. As soon as you can get it open. And. trying to do this so they'll come get me you know what I mean because usually anytime you start doing something you know when when you're waiting on somebody they you know interrupt you so that's what I'm hoping that I haven't ate breakfast yet either and so we've been up since about 10 or 7 just yeah, taking it easy this morning 
It was. Now I want to get unloaded so I can get home. Uh, I've got stuff to do. We have to do our uh, dirt string for the jumping red man. Uh, I'm hoping to do that tomorrow. If we can get out of here early enough so my son can pick me up today because he's got a doctor appointment because, you know, at first I was supposed to be delivering this first thing this morning. And, well, my dispatcher didn't do the his job and rescheduled my appointment until yesterday afternoon when everything was already full. So, there was that. But, um, anyway, this might look a little gross, but there's that. That's, that's cooker. I've done forgotten that what I was supposed to do. Uh, okay, mark wave on high, 30 seconds, third, and then do it another 40 seconds, and that should be done. So let's check it out. There's Michael. Here you go. Set right up in there. So anyway, hang on a minute. We'll let this thing cook, then I'll bring you back in and show you what it looks like. All right, that's still cooking. But, you know, it's like hurry up and wait. Yeah, my uh, daughter sent us a video this morning. My grandson, you know, he'll be a year in May. Uh, I think it's fourth. I'm terrible with remembering dates. Oh, it's May. And so, I heard a forklift horn. I was, let me see if it went on for me. But anyway, daughter was sent us a video this morning. She's working with him on his collars. And uh, and she picked, had a brown block and a blue block and asked him which one was blue. And I'll be that guy. I'll be deaf if that guy, a little feller, didn't grab the blue one. So, yeah, definitely ain't got his granddad's brains, that's for sure. But, uh, man, this is hot. Get her stirred up here so then I'll show you. Still don't look. You know, it doesn't look like, oh, wow, that looks awesome. But, you know, I've had them before, and they're and they're actually really good. And it's a hot breakfast, so, you know, one of them cold mornings, whatever, you just feel like you want some eggs and stuff, and, you know, you don't feel like going spending a bunch of money to Waffle House or IHOP or something, you know, microwave, there it is. So, there's that. But, it's a little tidbit for me. And so we'll probably wrap this video up this evening. Uh, didn't plan on getting filthy, so. But uh, anyway, that's where we are right now. So we hopefully we'll be unloaded soon and head up to our terminal and drop this truck off. And hopefully maybe my son can get there because we're like four hours from here. He's like four hours plus uh, getting to me. And so hopefully. Uh, I can get done early enough so he can come get me, you know, this evening. So, anyway, that's where we are. I will talk to you soon. Hey, guys. Well, this is a different view, isn't it? Yep. We're in Viper. Uh, got to unload yesterday morning, which, you know, we talked. And I drove, uh, got to our terminal with construction and traffic and all that. It's, Ended up being about 15 after 4, something, 20 after the time I got there. Uh, turned everything in, and my son was there. We loaded up the truck, and my daughter-in-law, and then uh, headed home. Got home last night. It was about 9 o'clock, I guess. And so, been a little just uh, today. Just, you know, working on a sermon, and it's kind of lazing around, and so... Now I'm heading out here to Hudson's Pizza, going to get dinner, uh, and uh, then head back home. So, but just kind of wanted to chit chat and let you know I am home. It's Friday, and I know the uh, video is late, but uh, I'll get it up there in just a little bit. Might be tomorrow because I got a video I want to do. I was going to add it to this one here, but. I uh, decided not to, so I really don't know how I'm going to end it, other than, um, not sure when we're going to start the, um, new job at Majunkin, but I'll definitely keep y'all updated on that, 
Feller's got to fix that sensor underneath here for the water fuel separator because every time it rains hard, it uh, it sets it off, makes it look like there's water and fuel, and there's not. Um, but anyway, lost my train of thought. Where was I? I don't know. Anyway, um, I'll think about it and continue my thought here in just a minute when we're on the way home. Anyway, to continue my thought, um, you know, we went out this morning, had to do our drug screening for my junkin', so uh, just waiting on a few final details. Um, you know, so probably going, not going to start until uh, right after Easter, you know, which is, you know, I don't know, kind of, kind of good, I guess. You know, maybe give me a little bit of time next week to, you know, to get sermon done. You know, because this is the first time I've done an Easter sermon, so I want to make sure it's, you know, it's a good one. And I'm definitely, you know, it's going to be Easter, but I'm trying to take it a little bit different. So, but to give my final overview, whatever, of PNS, you know, y'all know frustrations I've had. I've been pretty stressed out, you know, with the trucks. You know, the, the people there were, you know, really helpful, really good, you know, at whatever, you know, doing their jobs and stuff. And uh, as far as the loads, you know, that stuff was getting a little easier, a little bit easier to navigate because then I could, you know, start, you know, trying to get some stuff that uh, was a little easier to, to handle. You know, the tarpon was you know, uh, still quite a feat, but uh, but anyway, you know, it's this chapter is is done, and so now we get ready to start a new chapter, and um, we're going to do it together. We're you know we're still going to be doing the channel. You know, I'm not sure how it's going to change. Like I said, you heard me ramble on. And I'm looking for information from you all. And so, um, but, you know, we're going to be doing some stuff and uh, going some places still. And uh, parties <laughs> maybe turn my wife to be like, all right, you film. And so, you know, something. Um, but we're definitely going to be continuing the channel. And, you know, and, and like I said, maybe we do some more, a lot more of the one on one Bible studies. And, uh, things and then uh, so we'll, we'll go from there but uh i thank you all for you know hanging out with me and so far and i am looking forward to the continuation of this journey together that god has us on you know sharing jesus in life one mile at a time um, it's definitely going to be interesting so we've got lots of stuff going on in our country and you know we need each other as followers of Christ, believers, the body of, you know, the church. Uh, yeah, we need each other now. You know, we got to hang on uh, to Christ. And, you know, it's the only way we're going to get through this rough patch that we're going through in our world. And, uh, and so, and I'm looking forward to hanging out with you. And so, and it doesn't mean we're done traveling the roads, because yeah, we got we got the camper, and so we can go. And uh, the Viper enjoyed her trip. It's trip yesterday. You got to go out and run the roads, and uh, you know, uh, did really great. You know, didn't have any issues. Of course, you know, uh, we've got all them that stuff figured out. So, but anyway, I'm gonna pray. And go ahead and throw this together. Like I said, I'm not sure how this video is going to be. It's not a great video. Uh, it's just been, um, it's been a roller coaster the past few weeks, and uh, it's not been easy. And uh, you know, which you know, I've shared, poured out with you guys. Uh, we, you know, it's led to some pretty good studies, though. And then, you know, the one comment from the guy that would, you know, led to a pretty good one on, you know pretty good video i think so but uh just like i said comment let me know what you think uh, about you know what do you all want to see from here on out maybe some things do some different so um you want to see some nature and hiking you know do some 
in the woods with Pastor Anthony <laughs> or something. So, but anyway, let's end it. Let's uh, pray, and then I'll figure something out here um, in just a little bit. And like I said, I, I really wasn't sure how this video was going to go. I just, you know, sharing everything that happened this week, which is what we do. So let's pray. Father God, Lord, um, well, uh, one door chapter closes and a new one opens. And so, Father, we just ask as we step through it. Let us continue to have fun, share you, and just uh, love on you. And, Father, and just continue to challenge us and teach us and move us forward in this uh, road called life. And, Lord, we just thank you for all that you do. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. So, well, we're going to pop this thing out of here, and I'll show you dinner. Yeah, there's us. Oh, yeah. That's dinner. <laughs> all right. You all, thank you for watching. We will see you on the next one. And be looking for another one to pop up this weekend because I'm going to do one tomorrow. Um, you know, I got some, I haven't shared my thoughts and feelings yet on this whole thing with the shooting and stuff in, in Texas, or not Texas, and uh, Tennessee. And so, but, uh, so, yeah, I'm going to be kind of touching on that. So get ready and I will see you on the next one.